Hello and welcome to After Buzz TV's Spotlight On. I feel very nervous right now, but I'm so excited to have Dr. Marlena Evans, AKA Deidre Hall, in the house today. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Spotlight On. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by a lot of people here today. <laughs> we first have, to my far left... Me? Yeah. Marge A. Freeman in the house. And then our... Uh, I'm, I'm in the house today. That's house clearly today. my yeah. thing. Oh, that's your, uh, that's I you, guess. That's your whole moniker. I thing. guess. <laughs> And then we also have my co-host here. Oh, well, you forgot somebody. No, 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 no not yet. the best not for last. Oh, I'm sorry. Save the best oh, for I'm last. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Matthew Evan Payne, so happy to be here today. And now we have the pleasure of soap legend Miss Deidre Hall yes! here with us today. Oh, sweet, sweet. So nice to be here. Thank you. We are we are excited and nervous <laughs> to have I you here. I corrected your grammar five times already. <laughs> I, I can understand that you're nervous. I understand. We have security standing right outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's we we are so excited to have you here just to talk about you and 40 years of of being on the show, which is Amazing. Which is today, you know. Yes, I saw yes. Today is yep. my 40th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Why, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you shared it with us. That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you on your star on the Hollywood Walk of yes. Fame. Yes. How did you feel, you know, when you received that notice that you were going to get your star on the Walk of Fame? Well, first of all, it's a it's a very lengthy process. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't happen. Oh, look, you got it. The envelope doesn't open. Somebody right. says your name. Yeah. Um, it, it's um, uh, the studio had applied for it for about five years. Really. Um, and and so it, it was sort of a, a, a you don't think about it. You just stop mm. thinking about it. And, yeah. And um, so when I got the call saying, oh, well, it's you, it's you, um, I was I was gobstruck. I was I was. Um, it then became very surreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kid a girl. Um, so, and it was, it, it didn't actually become real even until the moment that um, a few days before I went down and, and I was allowed to see it. Um, and then I thought, oh, it's in cement. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah. can't, they can't be backing up on this thing yet. Um, and I still have to go back and see it because it just it's 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 very surreal. Yeah. Can it's you tell? People, do you know remember exactly where it is if people are walking around? Because oh, there's think, a lot of stars, so oh, it helps I think to know I exactly do. where is it. It's on Hollywood Boulevard, just a few stars east of um, um, Argyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So if you see the the well the Pantages yes, right there right, is, yes. is, is to the west, and um, and it's across from the W Hotel. Okay. Oh wow. Perfect. I know so, exactly where that spot. is. Here, go have lunch. I'm and gonna go, go see my yeah. star. Yeah. Yeah. I might <laughs> show a little picture on the ground with that. Okay. <laughs> no, to it my day. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking of this since we were talking about how nervous we all were <laughs> having you here. Um, no, why is that? Why I, is you that? know, you just want to make a good impression. Yes. We don't want you to think that you came into something and you're like, what did I get myself into? Who are these clowns? Yeah. So we just, you know, we want to. <laughs> you want me not to? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. Too late, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I was thinking uh, when I was looking through everything, and the, the people that we've had on here have, you know, a lot of them have brought you up as being someone that they really admire working with. Are you aware on set when someone's really like, "Oh my gosh, I'm working with Deidre Hall"? Like, can you t can you sense that? And what is your reaction no, to that? No, come on, no, we're all a team out there. We're in <laughs> Listen, we're all memorizing lines. We're all standing and trying to get them out of our mouths and hit mm -hmm. our marks and, and pick up our cues. Um, although I should say, because we spoke about it earlier, the um, little gal that plays uh, uh, Abby mm -hmm. had, uh, after months and months and months of being in the same makeup room and, and all that, uh, we finally had a scene and she said, oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and, I did, and I said, why? <laughs> Do I, did I miss something here? Are they killing our scene? Are they cutting the lines? Are they? She said, no, it's you. It's you. I thought, oh, for God's sake. Um, so that was the first set of awareness that I had. Yeah. Yeah. I'm struggling like the rest of everybody else is. I've been wanting to ask some of the guests that have been on if they get nervous when they find out they have scenes with you or John Anison, but then I feel like it, it's maybe an inappropriate question putting them down and the fact that they're also on the show. Oh. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, the answer is we're all doing the same job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's, um, yeah, I get nervous that I'll, I'll go up and forget lines or forget a cue or mess up somebody else's performance. So it's. And you must be nervous sharing the table with me today. I mean, I, under, I totally understand how you must feel. I can barely speak. Yeah. Well, I think I think the the nervousness just comes from you know everyone holds you in such a high regard, especially being in daytime for as long as you've been in it, and also playing the character of Marlena Evans for uh, when you think Days of Our Lives, you think Deidre Hall and Marlena. So I think in that regard, yeah. everyone puts you on this pedestal like you're you know you're Deidre Hall. So I think that's where. Nervousness. I think comes we all from. have that mental Horton Town Square plaque of you yes. in our heads <laughs> yeah. when we think days of our lives. Well, yeah. it, you know, and you know that it's Mac and Francis on the plaque. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And I'll make yeah. a call about that. Yeah. I, think yeah. it'll, I think it'll stay that way. You know, and it's funny you would say it, and you're very kind, thank you. But when I think of days of our life, I think of Bill and Susan Hayes. Yeah. 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 And when I joined the show, boy, that was the golden couple, and, and mm-hmm. they still are. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. traveled with them, and, and uh, people go mad when they walk in. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, for you, what do you enjoy about playing Marlena, since you've played her for so long? What, what excites you to continue playing this role? You know, the, my favorite part is the audience response to her, mm-hmm. because she is she is somebody that everybody trusts. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, so um, uh, if we're, you know, if we're if we're giving information, if we're giving comfort, if we're breaking news to people, you know, we've done so many firsts on the show mm-hmm. that um, uh, it was a great comfort to me that we're going to break the gay storyline, mm-hmm. and Marlene is going to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I went. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. because yeah. because uh, aside from everybody f- f- having the feelings they have about her, um, they trust her. Mm-hmm. And I and I thought to myself, well, if Marlena says, "Oh, well, darling, you're gay. I've always known." Good, that's fine. Yeah. Next. Yeah. So so America gets to see this is how we treat our our gay population. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're no different than anybody else. They are who they are, and we love them for all the right reasons. Mm-hmm. And and uh, they're not an oddity. Right, and we got so much mail after after those uh, the welcoming out scenes, as mm-hmm. they're called, of people saying, "You know what? I went and showed my mother the scenes." Yeah, because I didn't know how to tell her. Yeah, and then I then I got to show her, and this is how Marlena reacted, and this is how people we kind of hope you'll react. Yeah, and it was I thought it was profound, and it was so important, and it was so intelligent of our writers, to at that point say. Yeah, let's yeah. just show people how you do this thing, as as gay as as daytime is is known to do. Yeah, and that's that's one of the things that I enjoyed watching the the storyline un- unfold and how careful they were to slowly like let this build. And you watch Will kind of discover himself and and come to terms with himself, and then start sharing it with with family and how comforting they were with him. Until Sammy, <laughs> you know, we, you know, Sammy had her moments, but it was still, I, I still feel like they treated the storyline very carefully because I think they wanted to send a positive message out there. Uh, and so they treated it as such. So I've always greatly appreciated how Days has handled the storyline. Good, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I think they covered Sammy's reaction as well as Lucas's pretty accurately mm-hmm. because some people like Marlena were open to it and comforting and other people don't know how to react or get awkward so I think it was quite realistic and I yeah I thought it was believable I loved it too yeah and the wedding oh my gosh <laughs> I don't I don't think anyone watching the wedding had a dry eye that was such a beautiful moment and when Caroline got Caroline. Out, that <laughs> moment mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you didn't you know you didn't know where it was going to go and then how she, it, it was just beautifully it's just it was such a beautiful moment and and it just shows the work that that days does and I I love it I love mm-hmm. it. I love it. Well, Caroline's speech was especially important because mm-hmm. it was Caroline. Yeah. yeah. And we know she's always been empathic and she's always been ahead of the curve on social issues. Mm-hmm. Um, but when she stood, first of all, she, we were playing her, you know, does she have Alzheimer's, does she not? So right. she had a certain memory loss. Mm-hmm. And so there was a certain trepidation about, oh, Caroline stood up. Oh, yeah. golly, what's going to happen now? <laughs> right. And And then you thought for a moment, She's lost it. She doesn't know what she's going to say. She doesn't know uh, where she is. Um, and then she began talking about. Remember, her her, her monologue was yes. about mm-hmm. you know years ago in the years pub. Ago. We yes. were oh no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so when she finally wrapped it up with the two gay men in the pub, it was just yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. 
what? chilling. Uh, along with, with other storylines, such as that one, I know one of my favorite storylines, and it's kind of around the time that I started watching Days, was the uh, the New Salem or Mesalem storyline, where everyone was getting killed and put on this, this island, um, and it was revealed that you were the killer at that time. Like, how, how did you feel about, did you know, like, during that time that, that, Marlena was eventually going to be revealed as the killer, or was it something that was decided later? Like how how was that whole storyline for for you? Well, only because it's you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that was not the planned storyline. Mm. Right. We were crazy cast heavy, mm-hmm. um, and those nine people were on the chopping block. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And um, and and they were killed. Mm-hmm. And then I I don't think I'm making this up, but I think Ken stepped in and said, "What are we doing? What are oh we doing? wow! Because they these were you know yeah these were main characters. Yeah. And uh, and I think he stepped in and said, "No, let's not. You know what? We'll figure it out. Let's yeah. not do this." And so that was a newly devised story that, oh, well, they're the island and mm-hmm. what, an island, what? Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever knew that. Yeah. I, I, I didn't. You were meant to know that, but yeah. you do. Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I remember thinking, um, and this is around the time like internet and all that was kind of happening, but it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. And I remember for the first time trying to go online and find out what's happening with everyone. Are mm-hmm. they really gone? Are contracts up? Like, mm-hmm. what's happening? And I just remember being a young boy right after school because um, I learned how to uh, uh, set the VCR to record Days of Our Lives. <laughs> the VCR. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, it's a VCR, Mom. Uh-huh. Right. And, I, and I, I was always just at the edge of my seat with that, with that storyline because, you know, as, as each killing happened you know you felt something for for each character and it was like oh my gosh and then it was marlena it was like what is happening so i've always wanted to know from your perspective how you felt about that that storyline so thank you for sharing that you're welcome yeah Yeah. what has been if you have one all-time favorite storyline because there's so many. Yeah, 40 years <laughs> worth. Yeah. You know, obviously, I'm, first of all, I'll start with Possession because that was yeah. that'll be on my tombstone. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and and I, I wonder if every time I do something, people say, ooh, here she goes again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my, my twin sister, Andrea a Gangler, was brought in to play Hattie mm-hmm. Adams. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was in another behind-the-scenes kind of plot. She was playing Samantha for a long time. Right. Yeah. And then so, some fool writer killed her off. And so right. suddenly we have... Marlena doesn't have a twin. Oh, mm-hmm. great! Now what do we do? Mm-hmm. And they loved having my sister there, and mm-hmm. she brought a lot to to, you know, to the audience. Mm-hmm. Um, so they created the part of Hattie Adams, who was a curmudgeon in the restaurant, who looked something like Marlene in the right light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and so, but you got you got to have that makeover story, which was well, if I lose enough weight and I jog it off and I change my hair and I fix my teeth. Yeah. Um, so she was on the verge of becoming. Marlene look alike because mm-hmm. she was in love with Roman. Yeah. Um, and then at one point they they brought Hattie back in. My sister is a, as I said a special ed teacher, mm-hmm. and couldn't get away. So so they said you need to step in and play Hattie, mm-hmm. which was the most fun I'd had in a long time. Yeah. You know, just being able to be rude and obnoxious and, and <laughs> dress like a hussy, so, um, <laughs> which I don't get to do very often. Um, and it was it was just great fun. Um, we uh, actually have a photo from the time period when you were possessed by the devil. Mm-hmm. Which, of course yeah. you do. Which, <laughs> <laughs> myself, along with many others, that goes down in daytime TV's favorite storyline mm-hmm. ever. I can't get enough. I mean, even uh, I have my best friend Brian and I will when he comes to visit. We'll pull up the clips of you hovering on the bed. <laughs> levitation. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Levitation. Well, I had read um, an article in Entertainment Weekly from a few years ago that Ken Corday uh, mentioned the possession um, storyline, and he said um, he didn't necessarily regret the storyline, but he regretted the length of the storyline because apparently it was only supposed to be from like October to like Christmas, but they stretched it out to Easter around that time. Um, and I wanted to get your thoughts on how you felt. Did you feel like when you walked in, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm still possessed? Or how was that time for well, you? Well, I was having a lot of fun, don't forget. Oh, yes. Because possession was great fun for me. Oh, I bet. <laughs> um, I bet. Uh, 
And in fact, she levitated on Christmas Eve, so it couldn't mm-hmm. it couldn't have ended there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and John, of course, was a priest, as as it would happen. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so so he had to save me. And all those things had to happen. So it was. Yeah. A, I thought, you know, Jim Riley wrote that story, and, mm-hmm. and Jim Riley um, uh, was a besides a brilliant uh, writer in it and, and a. Um, um, adventurous writer mm-hmm. uh, was also a devout Catholic, mm-hmm. so the storyline was very safe in his hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knew exactly kind of how far to go and where to push the envelope and what to say and what not to say and what would fly and what wouldn't fly. So we all really turned it over to him and said, you know, we'll, we'll play whatever you write. Yeah, yeah. I I wasn't watching Days during that time. I'm sorry, but thank <laughs> thank God for YouTube because I we're able to go back and watch those scenes that you just mentioned and so there have been times where I go back and just watch those scenes and they're very enjoyable for me and you did an amazing job as yeah. always so thank you for those thank you <laughs> had a lot of help takes a village yeah of course I was um, reading an, an interview I think it was from somebody was interviewing you about the 50th and I, this kind of surprised me I didn't know this either <laughs> I like doing these when I can learn some new stuff but I I read that you almost did not take the role of Marlena. I actually turned it down. Yeah. Yeah. That and that true. really surprised me. It said, well, I mean, this is just taken from what I read, was that you said that it was, you, there were other women that you thought were more qualified, or that you thought were bigger names, yeah. and you were like, why, if they're not taking it, why should I? Oh, yeah. And I thought that was really interesting right. as something I didn't know. Well, it's when you, you know, you're so young, and this business is such a mystery to everybody, and heaven knows how anybody makes it, but... Um, I, I, I auditioned for it and I screen tested for it and I thought well that was kind of fun and then I saw the women that were testing it mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> keep my car running yeah. um, and when my agent called a few days later and said they'd like you for the job I thought nah yeah. they've gone to everybody else on the list who clearly turned it down. Mm-hmm. So now they're, they've finally gotten down to offering it to me, and I thought, well, there must be something wrong with the part. I'll turn it down, too. <laughs> and and so I turned it down. She said, oh, God, I don't even know, I know who you are anymore. And and, uh, and then they went to New York, and they interviewed there, and they auditioned there, and came back, and she called me one day and said, um, they, they keep looking for somebody. They keep asking if you'll take the job. I said, well, I... Uh, she said, why don't you want it? I said, well, because nobody else wants it. What does that mean? I said, because everybody else must have turned it down for them to come to me. She said, oh, you're so crazy. <laughs> no, you were their first choice. I was, huh, Mom, really? Um, and then so I said, well, then then I'd love to take it. That's awesome. I, that, I re- that really was just, I, was that, yeah. that and there was one other thing that you said. I don't know if it was in that exact interview, but something else and kind of, again, something we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to quote you that you Feel said... Free. I love being raucous, and, ruckus and rude, mm. and I was like, "Really? That surprised me." <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought, "Oh, an interesting insight." Yeah, yeah. So, uh, rock, raucous <laughs> and, and rude. We'll is welcome closer. you to do that here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe not on KTLA or uh, NBC, but yeah. after Buzz, we like that. I see. Okay. <laughs> then what I've heard about you is true. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Well, I, I also you must have, have talked to Billy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> talk to Billy about Mark, and he'll tell you everything you may not have wanted to know. Is that right? <laughs> yes, mm. yes. I'm kind of the leader of his fan club. Leader. I, I, I Self-appointed, sit by, sit of course. By me. No, I, I love him. I love him. He's amazing. He's you were on Our House and Days of Our Lives at the same time. Is that correct? Yeah. I was. Mm-hmm. And you were juggling both. Both I shows. was at the time uh, when I when I got Our House. I was uh, I was under contract, and I. Uh, uh, what I had agreed to do was, Days had agreed, if Our House gets picked up as a series, because we're just on the pilot, um, uh, we'll let you uh, go and do it, and, and we'll, you know, we will accommodate your schedule there. And, uh, you know, how many pilots get picked up. Mm-hmm. So uh, what happened was it got picked up, and Days said, yikes, okay, well, we've got you now working two and three and four days a week. So uh, they, uh, through, a, through a miraculous scheduling uh, uh, accommodations, had me shooting all my scenes on Saturdays. Mm. So oh, wow. I'd come in Saturdays, do eight, 80 pages of you know, scene work, and the, you know, the sets were there, the actors were there. Bless their hearts, thank you all. Yes. Um, and I got to go and be on Our House for mm-hmm. two seasons. And how was your experience with Our House? I see our house is where my heart sits. Mm-hmm. That that old house, that old man, those kids, that yeah. neighborhood, that front porch. 
Um, in fact, I had I love it so much. I had written a script for our house mm-hmm. that was uh, was picked up and accepted, and would have been the first one to shoot in third season, which we didn't get. Oh. But it was uh, it was if you recall the series, mm-hmm. um, uh, she's uh, Jesse's a, a, a widow, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we opened a sh- one of the shows where everything everything that can go wrong does go wrong. The dog gets hit by a car, and uh, all these things, terrible things happen. And turns out that, um, oh, it's Johnny's 40th birthday. He would have been 40 on that day. Mm. And everybody's kind of stepping around and not saying this would have been Dad's birthday mm. if he'd been alive. And, and so it's... Uh, you see, the it, it it wraps up at the end of the show with with uh, Jesse and and Gus sitting on the front porch talking about yeah. Wilfred yeah. Brimley, correct? And Shannon Wilfred Brimley. Brimley and yeah. Shannon Doherty and Shannon Doherty and Carrie Houlihan and Chad Allen. Yeah. Wow. All star cast. Yeah. All star yeah. cast. I remember <laughs> watching it. I definitely remember watching mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. I definitely remember. We actually also have a photo of the Our House cast. Zach, I believe. Uh, I remember I, I was I was a little boy running around and my brother Kyle would watch Our House and I would sit with him and uh, and then I I kind of started getting into Days of Our Lives at probably uh, too much of a young age, but no regrets. I, it it paved the uh, it paved my viewing experience. I've been <laughs> I've been a fan of Days of Our Lives ever since. Uh, yeah. I, didn't you find that sorry didn't that our house was really the consummate family show? Oh totally. It was warm. Oh. I told, yes. I, I, that's my memory of it. Yeah. Um is is that um, I was going <laughs> to I hope you don't hate me for this. But honestly, one of the things I was most excited to talk to you about mm-hmm. was Electra Woman and Dinah <laughs> Because I think I played you as a little child <laughs> running around my house. I'm sure I was Explains one of them. Explains a lot. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. I see where we are now. And yeah. I kind of still do it today. But um, I just want to know what it, I mean, I started watching online some of the old you know, YouTube clips and stuff just because it was a long time ago for me to... I do rem- I mean, I distinctly remember watching it. Um, how was... I mean, I just want to know what it was like to do, to play like that superhero and... Did you real? I mean, what did you think of it as you were doing it? Well, remember, it's a cartoon. Yeah, you know? I mean, the yeah. picture tells you what a cartoon is. Yeah, right? um, and and uh, um, I had auditioned for that. Didn't audition. I met on that. <laughs> At the same time, um, I, I met. Uh, auditioned for days, uh-huh. and uh, days hadn't gone. I thought, oh, you know what? This is. A, it'll be a little summer show. This will be a screen. This will be a, just run around like a superhero. Yeah. And um, we ended up, Judy Stranges and I, mm-hmm. uh, shooting our entire season, or two, whatever it was, um, in the dead of summer in Hollywood, oh. in a studio with, wait for it, no air conditioning. Oh, oh no. my. Those costumes are, and we've got the tights and the thing, and the, yeah. it's all, you know, we're, we're covered from head to toe. Mm. Um, and uh, we, we shot over at KTLA, or KTTV, I've forgotten now, on a stage that they didn't have air, but right, we shot right next door to Donnie and Marie. Oh, oh wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever tell him that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but then you, you must recall by yes. the response that they had an ice skating rink on their stage. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So to keep an ice skating rink cold, they had to have it mm-hmm. very cold yes. all the time. <laughs> so my friend Jane Elliott, who who created Cleopatra, who now plays Tracy Quartermain on General Hospital, oh, okay. um, uh, discovered that, and uh, we would go over, you know, when we got to work in the morning, and crank open those elephant doors and get 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 <laughs> their get cool the air. Yeah. In fact, she brought her ice skates one day and actually went skating during oh, our right. lunch break. So yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I have the. I think I do have the Donnie Marie Greatest Hits DVD. <laughs> and I did go to see them in Vegas. The least and got, surprising I thing we've heard all day. I did get emotional sitting there hey, listen, when they came out. They singing. are spectacular. Oh, they're they're, 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 they're tremendously talented and wonderful, wonderful people. I'm crazy about both of them. That was Electra Woman, Diana Girl, Donnie Marie, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrells. I was Louise, for the record. <laughs> that, putting that out there. Surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Arlene, didn't you? No, I, I couldn't be sure. <laughs> my sister was Arlene. My twin brother was Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure I was Electra Woman at some point. <laughs> Did you get the Halloween costume? I don't think I did. I don't think my mm. dad would have let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, but yeah. if you could only see my closet now. Yeah. People, <laughs> people in the chat room are wondering if you and Jane Elliott still keep in touch. Are you kidding? We see each other every weekend. 
We we spend uh, Sunday evenings together because we were in the habit of watching whatever <coughs> was on Sunday nights. What was it we were watching every week? The Good Wife. Um, no, no. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I can't do it now. But <laughs> but one of those famous Sunday night shows, mm. and um, um, and I color her hair. Oh, I'm her hair care professional, as she says. <laughs> so uh, and that's my other life. I'm a oh, hair wow. colorist. I love it. It was what I wanted to be when I grew up. Oh. And so I'd gotten really good at it. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, one day she was saying something. I said, oh, I'll do it for you. As, as I've said to a number of friends, oh, I'll do it for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my friend Serene, who said, oh, no, thanks, for about uh, eight months in carpool, finally said, oh, fine. And I do her every week. Um, <laughs> you got so, a little so side business going on I there. do. I do. I, I, I adore it. And I have very trusting friends. Um, but, yes, Jane and I see each other every Sunday night. Mm-hmm. And uh, we watch a show together. And, um, and if it needs to be done, we color her hair. Style by Deidre. Yeah. That's well, it. That's it. At least, at least we know now that hopefully we're friends now and I can come over Sunday night and get my hair colored as <laughs> needed. <laughs> I'll wear I'll wear my uh, I'll wear my like my footy pajamas my my onesie your onesie and bring Cute. popcorn. Okay, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Remember yeah. what I said about security standing right outside the door. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank well, you. one of my uh, first memories of of you, Deidre, was from Days of Our Lives, and you were locked in a cage by uh, uh, the Stefano. golden cage. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. and I I was a person who I never understood why people watch soaps. I didn't get it. And then one day I watched Days and I've been hooked ever since. And that was the episode. And I remember asking a family friend, why is that woman locked in a cage? And why is that man so possessed with her? (laughs) And for a week, my family friend endured uh, questions about everyone on the show. Um, But I wanted to know from you, how was it working with Joe uh, Muscolo? Uh, during Joe was amazing, yeah. you know, and and Joe, Joe and uh, or Marlena and Stefano have always had this sort of uh, love hate relationship, mm-hmm. and uh, a friend of mine said it's you know it's Stefano was like the dog chasing the parked car. Yeah. If he ever gets her, he won't know what to do with it. Yeah, but, yeah. but exactly. he keeps yeah. trying. That's true. Um, <laughs> and and so it's always been you know she can the, the, it's a battle battle of wits and mm-hmm. wills mm-hmm. and and. Uh, and it holds up. Yeah. It holds up. Yeah. It certainly did. And what about, um, I love when I see you and Eileen Davidson work together. Oh. Um, you, the the whole, I remember the uh, the hidden room uh, storyline. Oh, yeah. Secret where room, she yes. kept you in the secret room. And she also plays Susan Banks, which is oh, my all-time yeah. favorite yeah. character. Yeah. Um, what, what, what is it like working with her? And how did you feel when she came back uh, just a few years ago and you guys got to work together again? She she is such a professional, mm-hmm. and she's so crazy creative that you sort of never know what you're going to get. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw somebody put up a montage a while back, where um, uh, it's her wedding day, mm-hmm. and somehow I, we had a fight. She's on the, she's on the floor, <laughs> and yeah. I'm standing over, which is you know, Typical as it call. should be. Yeah. <laughs> Par for the course. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I saw that and went oh I remember those scenes so when they, they that all comes rushing back and mm-hmm. how we did it when we were doing it yeah um, and there's such a sense of of uh, of, of um, not audacity but of, of of freedom because she's she's physically very strong mm-hmm. so you're able to kind of manhandle her you mm-hmm. know and so you can get in there and throw her around or be thrown around or fight <laughs> or sh- shove or you know yeah. um, um, she's she's um, she's courageous she's daring she takes a lot of chances uh, mm-hmm. in the roles and um, she's a pleasure to work with. Yeah, yeah. Always knows her lines, which is kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> she's always prepared. Oh, yeah. Would you ever consider being a real housewife of Beverly Hills if asked? No. no, no, no. <laughs> I was, I was no, thinking no. the same thing. I, you know, I think, I think, I'll just say it because it's here. Mm, yes. I think there's such a level of, um, I like to think that women have a higher level of class in those kind of shows, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I don't like it when women are portrayed as mean and and yeah. um, uh, combative mm-hmm. and uh, uh, backstabbing. It isn't who women are at their best. Right. Women at their best could save the world, rule the world, and you know, and right. save our planet. Mm-hmm. And uh, the notion that that the television sometimes puts out there that, oh yeah, well, if there's a man involved, they don't like each other, is such crazy nonsense. Yes. Can yeah. I say crazy shit on yes. the air? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you did. Yes. Yes. It's, it's just, it's, it is, it's just crazy shit. Yeah. And it annoys me because it sends a message to young women that think, there's not enough to go around. There's not enough for her to be famous and me to be famous and her to be married and me to be married. Mm-hmm. And that's completely not true. And the way we all get to the top as women is to 
help each other get there and then help each other stay there. Yeah, that's very true. I was, when they announced her uh, as part of the cast, I, for a second I was like, really? I For some reason I picture her as someone that would probably say, nope, would never do it. But I've enjoyed her. You mean jumping shows? Ju- uh, well, her being on the, the Real Housewives. Oh, on that show, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It was a, it was I a was shock, surprised shock her and Lisa Rinna yeah. both Lisa surprised Rinna, me. A yeah. surprise. And yeah. I was I'm I, I am saying it now. I was a huge Lisa Rinna fan. Like she was my Billy. She was like that was what my <laughs> Billy again Billy. coming up. Yes. Um but uh <laughs> that and I just I don't know lately I've just been like I don't I don't know. It it kind of saddens me that I don't have that passion for her anymore yeah. because of her being on the show. I I, I don't know if that's I, I don't I don't really watch it at all. I did watch I do their first I when she too. first came on with Eileen and I watched mm. um, them their first like they met in the coffee shop and stuff and I and I just I was kind of like where you are where I'm just like I don't I feel like it's I could feel brain cells dying. <laughs> oh, no. I was like why are you doing this like you're so both so talented like I was mm. like Ugh. I think I they're to good together them, though I, I I think they're they're good to together on the show and I think, yeah I think it kind of I don't it's, it's a nice so. balance. Yeah. I just okay. I never want to see a woman step off her pedestal. See, yeah, and those yeah. shows to me are, are exactly that. that you're stepping off your yeah. pedestal. Can I ask you too? I, um I feel like and we've kind of touched on this a little bit with how much the audience respects you and the character. I think they respect you and the character. I don't think mm-hmm. just, those are two separate things. Um, and I'm just curious to know for you, is it, do you feel a lot of pressure to be not ruckus and rude? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to, to hold up to be this person that people are expecting you to be. You mean in my life? In yeah, my in your life? personal life, yeah. My personal life is pretty clean cut. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone else in here. Shh. Yes. I have a family member with me. I'm. I'm um, I, I. I just see. I. I. I had this. This belief that women are a cut above, mm-hmm. and we are the finer sex, mm-hmm. and. Um, there is elegance and grace, and there's no reason to step away from that. And that's why I dress up as them a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Also, very true. Very true. Very true. We Which... have a picture of that. <laughs> no, 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 no. And we all look at the screen. <laughs> different, <laughs> different show. <laughs> now, um, back in uh, 2009, uh, fans were very upset when Days fired you and Drake um, during that time. What was, what was the feeling that from you when that all happened it was a very strange time and we were I, I will speak for Drake in this moment we were both a little surprised yeah mm-hmm. because, and I think fans were too yeah, yeah we sort of thought of ourselves as, as uh, you know of, of figures on the show mm-hmm. um, and everybody knows budget everybody knows business but mm-hmm. but it's, yeah come on yeah, you know, exactly. not, not us <laughs> not, yeah. um, everyone around us but not, not yeah, us. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so it was um, it was uh, disturbing on a number of levels, mm-hmm. and um, uh, and at the end of the day, you're an actor for hire. Right. Mm-hmm. You have a contract. You have a job. You're you're, you're playing a character. Um, you you you. Uh, I think all of us go in with our game face, as Greg Drake would say, and and put our best effort forward every day, mm-hmm. and hopefully um, it, it works and everybody's happy, and we get to get invited back the next day. Right. Um, and sometimes you don't. Yeah. And I I read that uh, during the book tour of the forty five uh, the forty fifth anniversary book tour, um, a fan asked you if you would be open to coming back onto the show, and you replied, "Well, if I were invited." And that was during the time that you had gotten to know Greg Ming, and mm-hmm. you guys had developed your uh, a friendship, and you got a chance to know him. And he heard that and immediately went. You're invited. Is yeah. that is that exactly how that it is happened? exactly how it happened in, in the moment, and and it wasn't contrived. It was yeah. um, I was doing the book tour because I had agreed to do it, and um, and I was in the book, and it just made sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and someone did ask, and it was not planned. Or we hadn't prepared for it. Yeah. And um, and that was exactly how it happened. You know, uh, what would it take to have me come back to the show? And I said, well, I'd have to be invited. And and I don't even think I was looking at Greg. Yeah, <laughs> it's just an honest answer. Yeah. Have, well, I I can't yeah. invite myself in. Right. Um, and and he said, so consider yourself invited. Wow. And I I think fans were ecstatic with the yeah. return of of John and Marlena because 
you guys just represent, you know, one of the many super couples, but I think you it's like you are the super couple mm-hmm. for, for a lot of fans. And even especially for me, when I first started watching Days, it was always John and Marlena. And I thought, I want to have a John and Marlena relationship, too. <laughs> without, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> but without, like, the amnesia and, like, you know, the different types of people oh. and, not, you know, more more so smooth sailing for, for me. But... Um, but yeah, I, I it was it was a joy to kind of get days back to how I remember it when you guys uh, when you all my apologies thank you <laughs> uh, came back on. <laughs> well, we all I think we'd all would like to fantasize about having that dream relationship. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, and who wouldn't want to? Right, you know they have their 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 problems, but at the end of the day, they work them out together. They stand beside each other. They mm-hmm. are they are locked at the hip. Yeah, and now they are engaged. No, they're engaged. Yeah, yeah. isn't that odd to say? Because yeah, married, I know I've been yeah. married so many yeah. times yeah. that uh, hard to say. Yeah. Although I, I love that Marlena did not make it easy for yes. her to bring John back Made in. She was like, "Listen, mm-hmm. you, this is what you got to do, and if you do it, I might give you a chance." Yeah. I, I love that moment. Did you did you ever have a moment uh, of thinking, what if Marlena uh, went with Roman or kept being paired with Roman instead of John? Did you ever have that thought, and I only—I think I only think that because I related to Sex in the City and Carrie and Aiden and, and <laughs> Big. Um, but was there ever a thought of like what would the storylines have been like if it were Marlena and Roman? Well, no. If I if I if I remember correctly, Jean was sort of Roman, right? At yeah. one point, and, and so That's it true. was. Yeah. So it, it's 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 a mixed bag. You had if you bought him as Roman, mm-hmm. he said it will always be Roman, right? Yeah. And Roman, as we know, was played by Wayne Northrup, right. who was Marlena's first love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, the audience adored that couple yeah. mm-hmm. for a, a very long time. Mm-hmm. So it, it begs the question, are you talking about John and Marlena, um, or are you talking about Roman slash John Marlena, or are you talking about Marlena and Roman uh, Wayne Northrup? Right. right. So it's... it's um, and now I have scenes with Josh, not infrequently, and I'm very fond of him. We're, yeah. we're social friends. Um, and uh, and it's great fun. It, yeah. he, he's so easy to work with, and, and he's he's you know actors are all different. He's one of the actors who says, "Yeah, you just kind of know whatever you want to do. He's right there." Yeah. And, yeah. You know, he, he 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 It's a lot of give and take with him. Yeah. So your social friends with Josh. Who else from the cast do you spend time with outside of the studio? Um, mostly, um, I uh, spend some time with with uh, staff and crew. But uh, Lauren Coslow and I are social friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm I'm not especially a great dresser, and, and I've said to her a number of times, <laughs> "Will you take me shopping?" <laughs> sure, I'll take you shopping. She, and uh, what you know about about Kate is who played mm-hmm. Lauren Coslow is is Kate um, is when you see her on camera, she looks that way in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> she could walk on camera dressed in whatever she mm-hmm. wore on that day, mm-hmm. and she's just she's glamorous and she's put together and she's it, she's trendy and mm-hmm. and, and bold. And um, so she said, "Oh, sure, I'll take you shopping." So we've had several <laughs> shopping outings where where it's um, it's a fight because uh, in fact, my, uh, Richard Bloor, our wardrobe master, mm. uh, we were Lauren and I walking out one day, came across some uh, Richard, and and I said, "Richard, Lauren's taking me clothes shopping," <laughs> and he just stopped in his tracks, and and Lauren said, well, "Isn't that a good idea?" He said, "Oh, honey." She's hard. <laughs> She's really hard. And I, I, I said, I'll be curious to hear how it goes because she says no to everything that ever is presented to her. She says, oh, no, it's too long, it's too short, it's too red, it's not red enough, it's not bright enough, it's too tight, it's too loose. Oh, my gosh. Um, and so, in fact, I was leaving the studio today before I came over here, and mm. we just we made a date to um, to, to shop together. On the uh, so. To be a fly on the wall. Oh, my right? gosh. Mm. I bet that is so much fun. Yeah. I, I was going to tell you, too, um, hopefully you'll remember this. Um, I, when I, I, I We talked a little bit about this at Day of Days, but I work at the Odyssey Theater. I'm the box office manager at the Odyssey Theater. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, my very first week <laughs> at the theater, now I, and my... They obviously found out that I work at After Buzz and I do a Days of Our Lives show. So a lot of my coworkers were like, well, we get a lot of Days of Our Lives people come in here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, like who? And they're like, Deidre Hall, she's done a show here. And uh, Teo Pengliss comes and, da, da, and start rattling off these names. And I was like, oh, that would be kind of cool, you know, to be working here. And I I'm I'm, couldn't make this up. My first week 
I don't know if you remember this. Oh, I remember it. You came in mm-hmm. to see Off the King's Road, but there wasn't a performance. Yes. And I printed you the the movies, the showtimes at the AMC Theater for you and your friend, because you were like, well, we're going to go see something. I said, I'll print it for you. But I remember sitting at my desk. And <laughs> 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 I'm not even kidding you. I wish there was a camera on me, because I was sitting there, and like I'm nervous anyway, because I'm like having to take the phones, and people are walking in, and I'm like, people actually walk in here. And, and I see, and I'm like, oh, that's so funny. That lady looks like Deidre <laughs> <laughs> and then I, you came up to the window and I was like in my head I hope I didn't look frantic as I was because I was like oh my god it really is <laughs> <laughs> and she's all screwed up too yeah. and I was trying so hard to be polite because you were like no there's a show and I was like no really there's not a show and I'm like maybe I'm wrong yeah. this is my first Mark week was maybe about to do right it. <laughs> Mark was about to do a one man show for you and I oh think I messaged gosh. you yeah. and Peter were the co-hosts at the time and I was like oh my god I'm sitting right down to DJ Hall's I'm trying so hard to stay calm um, that's and yeah. but there was, yeah. well, we met, there was nobody there no yeah. I had my, my, my uh, BFF Caroline and, mm-hmm. and we said okay let's yes we'll go to see that play at the Odyssey okay fine and I think I had tickets or something yeah. and so I thought this is amazing because their p- parking lot is in full <laughs> Wow, we've really locked out here. And and it thinking me. it was odd, but came up to the box office and, and uh, was told, huh, what? And I uh, thought, no, I, I'm sure I'm right about this. And you were pretty persistent. Yeah. I was just like, I don't, I, I'll look at my calendar, but I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be here by now, you jerk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I can go look in the theater. Maybe there's a show. I don't know. <laughs> but you actually performed at the Odyssey. Uh, Grace. I did. What was it? Grace something. Grace. Um, uh, yeah, it was. Um, uh, I'm, I'm uh, totally blanking on the name. Hold on. I just co- I texted my coworker. I was like, what was the name of the show? Because it was before I was there. It was a. Uh, You're going to help me have to help me because this is a short term uh, memory. We're just yeah. sitting here having a casual laugh with Deidre Hall on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. My, okay, here. And she has no Grace memory. Notes. Grace Notes, yes. Grace Notes. At yeah. the Odyssey. It was a, a changing cast. Yes. So you yes. were there for well, a couple weeks. You got to weeks. read it. It wasn't, yeah. you know, it, uh, the, the people that get on stage and, and perform these heroic acts of, of uh, performing a full play just knock me out. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know Maria O'Brien is in our next show. I do know that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not meant to know that because she's she's nervous about it. Oh, is she? Oh, okay. But, That's probably why she hasn't responded to my email. <laughs> Did you come and talk about it? Well, I, she wasn't at our meet and greet, so I didn't actually get to meet her yet of mm-hmm. the cast. She's the only one I haven't met. And the director knows that I do the Days of Violence. She's like, oh, do you know Maria? And I'm like, well, no, I know who she is, but yeah. I don't know her. Yeah. And so I sent her an email just saying, you know, I hope that, you know, if you, I gave her a Days discount for the Days people if she wanted it. But she oh, never I responded didn't. to me. She doesn't, she's not, she's not letting us know about it much. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so well, now well, you'll have to tell me what I, it is. I yeah. say, I'll give you the yeah. info and you I can. I will take the discount. <laughs> It's just days, promo code days, $10 off. (laughs) I have to ask you, what is a behind-the-scenes secret from Days of Our Lives that nobody knows? Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, I I, I asked this. A couple people have said the same thing about, you know, hidden scripts on set um, to be able to look at their lines right before. Is there anything juicy that you can tell us? Gosh. I'm the last person to know, usually. (laughs) Uh, I can't can't think. Um, Somebody had said to me once that they know when we're about to tape because there's a sound of like six scripts hitting the ground. (laughs) (laughs) We always were like this the whole time because Mm -hmm. we're shooting so much and so fast. The memorization is such an issue. Um, So we're all holding scripts until, okay, we're going to roll tape, and boom, everybody drops the script the same moment. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but that's not a behind the scenes. That's just a I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How do you Good feel? Enough. How do you feel about the current storylines uh, that have been happening? As far as uh, one big shocker for all of us was the death of Will, um, which we all kind of took to heart with that. Um, but also the discovery of John's past, and that you. We kind of joke about it here. We uh, we found out that John's real last name was Robichaux, so we kind of went through the family and thought, oh my God, can you imagine if it was Marlena Robichaux instead of Marlena Evans Black? It would have been Marlena Robichaux. Robichaux. And Brady Robichaux. Yes, and... Was Bell Robo show? Bell so we we went through that whole thing. But um, I but was I was I was I, I was fretful about the name because John Robo was a character mm-hmm. in a novel, in uh, several novels, and I went, 
that this must be known. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. how can we even clear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and I, I think I said that to Drake, but mm -hmm. he seemed unconcerned about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, so John Rubber show it is. <laughs> there it is. Whatever you say. Um, um, I just, uh, you know, all things considered, I thought it was kind of out of left field, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure it was an audience pleaser. Mm -mm. Oh, I see him going off track here. Um, but it was just, really, you have an Asian father, and he's the head of an Asian syndicate, and what, yeah. huh? Yeah. What? And yeah. who's your mother? But she was a, I don't know. I always yeah. try to, my husband doesn't watch the show, so I always <laughs> try to explain. Like, when we have a guest, I'll be like, yeah. oh, okay, so this is who they, like, he pretends like he cares. But I'll be like, this is, <laughs> so I was just talking about the Roba show thing. But the, I will say the one time that he did get excited to watch was when... Uh, Kristen came back the last time and she did Susan mm -hmm. and he happened to come in the room while she was doing Susan oh, okay. and we went to bed and then the next night <laughs> we were laying in bed I couldn't believe I couldn't believe my ears he was like can we watch that Susan again <laughs> and I was like really all, all this time you give me uh, you know, true, crap true. about watching Days of Our Lives and he was just like I just want to watch that Susan again and I was like yeah sure. she, is, she is a hoot but yeah. that's how you get hooked on a soap yeah. so you're in the it's hospital something, yeah. yes. or you're at home on, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know in your, your an invalid of some sort <laughs> um, uh, because you have to be captive for a bit. I, I got hooked on soaps many, many years ago um, when I, I was watching some morning show or something, and uh, it led into a soap. Yeah. And I hadn't turned it off, and I was whatever, whatever. And I looked up, and there was this girl with this long, long red hair, and she was a concert pianist. And she was in love with Dr. Wolick. Mm. Uh, uh, I can't even do more than that for the name. Um, uh, and, 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 uh, and I was fascinated. So she's this poor, shy thing who's an incredible concert pianist in love with a doctor who doesn't know she's alive. Mm -hmm. And um, and, I, and I did the same thing next day. I wonder if she's on today. I wonder, yeah. if, she, I wonder if she ever saw Dr. Wallach. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And, that, and then it was years of one life to live. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how I got hooked on days. What I, can we look forward to from Dr. Marlena Evans? coming up? There's, there, well, there's a say. lot coming up. You know, we're, uh, uh, Abigail has uh, gotten her... Um, Oh, for this show, I can say it's hitting a ringer. Um, <laughs> um, she's gotten herself in some hot water, I uh -huh. meant to say. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we're going to see a lot of, of uh, sort of her backstory and what's going on. Okay. And, uh, and of course, you know, we love Chad, and he'll, 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 he will figure into that. Um, <laughs> you, just, you just lit up Mark by the mention yeah, of Chad. Yeah, Recently, <laughs> they've been... But you guys have had some amazing scenes together. Like, yes. amazing. Like, we, we've, we've even talked about it on our show. I'm like... There's a chemistry there, but I mean, like, I wouldn't be upset with a Chad and Marlena pair. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to see Billy Flynn on screen, Mark. Mark is all for. Yes, I see that. Yes, yes. I see that. I, honestly, though, that especially there was that one was when they were you, you guys were in the pub, and I think he was drunk, and that scene. I just I remember just rewinding it and watching it and rewinding <laughs> it. And I think and I think I even said to him when he was here because he he says something to uh, Chad says something to Marlena and I don't remember how because he was drunk you know he was kind of like bitchy I'm not allowed to say that mm. um, and I was in my and at home I was like you don't say that <laughs> and I was like Billy what are you doing she's gonna finish you but it was so good uh, just the two of you together it just it really and when you guys just were doing the stuff with Abigail in the hospital and stuff like I like it's like Electro Woman and Dinah Girl <laughs> have, have you already started shooting your wedding scenes to John everyone's dying to know about the wedding. Not at this point. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as we have run out of time, as time just goes Is by that right? so quickly. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, how? But, but one last question: How would you sum up the past forty years of of daytime television for you, and what you've learned, and what you've gotten out of this experience? Wow. <laughs> what, 20 seconds or less? Yes, please. Um, you know what? It's or been, 40 seconds. It's been such a home to me, and it's mm -hmm. it, it, it has, has enabled me um, to have endearing, long-lived friendships uh, mm. with people that... My friend Susan Hayes, who introduced me for the Star on the Walk of Fame, who is my hero. I, she is so extraordinary. Mm -hmm. um, her husband, Bill, Lauren, the people that I work with, and behind the scenes, the directors, the producers, who were just out there opening their veins every day, giving 100% mm -hmm. of what they have to give. Mm -hmm. And they're all my heroes. Uh, it's an impossible job to do, and we do it every single day. Mm -hmm. um, so that's you know my takeaway. is, and Obviously, it's, it's provided a wonderful living for me. It's provided on entree to fans that I never would have met uh, mm -hmm. in any other kind of field. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a way of life. It's, a, it's, um, 
it's it's being somebody in everybody's home every day and that's yeah. extraordinary yeah well i would like to thank you for the entertainment that you have given me on days of our lives and i wish you can i wish you 40 more years on days is you can, okay? can sure try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be there. <laughs> but he wishes it to you anyway. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Well, Deja, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. It is an absolute pleasure and honor to have you in our studio today. Well, I'm going to ask if you follow me on the Deidre Hall fan page on Facebook. I do. Yes. Okay. And so does Dish and Days. And Great. I, I have to say, I love that you have such a presence on social media. Yeah. I remember when you were doing videos and things like that, I was like, Deidre Hall? Paul is like on social media. What is this? What is this? <laughs> kitchen minute. I was watching your oh, kitchen minutes. Oh, love those kitchen minutes. <laughs> yeah. Aren't those fun? <laughs> they are. They're really, and they're, for me, with the short attention span, I'm like, oh, perfect. A minute. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Deidre, you are welcome back here anytime. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Have you us. and Lauren together. That, that would, would be, be great, great fun. Oh, that yep. would be great We can fun. talk about your shopping experience. Or yes. after that, go shopping together. All of us. Cute. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for that. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for tuning in. And of course, uh, before we head out, Mark, remind the people where they can find you via social media. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E. You should Google it. You'll have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Deidre, they can find you. DeidreHall.com or on Facebook, it's uh, Deidre Hall fan page. And don't forget, uh, she does have two books that are out uh, for purchase, and you can check out those books at DeidreHall.com. How does she do it? And Deidre Hall's Kitchen Close Up. Fast, frugal, fabulous food secrets. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and it never Matt, gets old. Matthew, where can they find you? And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Matthew E. Payne. Such a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounging with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. And don't forget, every Sunday here at AfterBuzz TV, we give you a full recap of the week's episodes of Days of Our Lives for Edition Days every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard time 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so make sure you stay tuned thank you guys for uh, for June <laughs> <laughs> you, you almost did it I almost did it I'm not going to be on the reel that is not going to be on the reel <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time for another Spotlight On <laughs> executive producers Maria Menounos Kevin Undergaro Phil Svitek and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network to watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.